First at five, with inflation continuing and home values rising, some homeowners are worried about growing property taxes, especially retirees. Many people 65 and older are on fixed incomes from pensions and Social Security. And with every increase in expenses, their budget gets tighter and tighter. 44 News reporter Josh Myers is live in Henderson tonight with the action Kentucky lawmakers are taking to help out seniors. Josh. Yeah, elegance. the Kentucky State Senate passed a bill by a landslide vote that they're hoping will alleviate some uncertainty for seniors in the state about their financial planning because of increases in property taxes. The last thing we want to see is uh, somebody that's worked their whole lives. They may even have the house paid for and they just can't afford uh, their property taxes. Senate Bill 32 proposes to freeze the property valuation of the primary residence for all Kentuckians 65 and older. Notably, seniors' property tax bills would still be subject to changes in the tax rate. Freezing property valuations could help flatten rising expenses for retirees living on fixed pensions and Social Security, helping them stay put in their communities. You may have to sell your home, move out, or whatever, because you won't be able to afford them. When you live on Social Security, anything that raises hurts you. Critics of the bill says it doesn't take means into account, allowing wealthy seniors to benefit from the tax break. As well, no growth in property taxes means no growth in revenue for public services that rely on that funding, like schools. You've got that opposite side. Uh, you know, it is our responsibility to continue to fund local governments and school systems that rely on these tax uh, revenues. That was debated in, in the Senate uh, pretty viciously. According to Senator Mills, the bill would work in concert with the state's homestead exemption, allowing seniors to apply the nearly $50,000 discount to their frozen property valuation. Since the bill is proposing an amendment to the state's constitution, if it does pass through the House, it will be on the ballot in November for a public vote. Reporting live in Henderson, Josh Myers, 44 News.